Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you with another episode of Cards That Make My Dick Hurt. In this one we're going to be covering two cards because they kind of go in sync together and it is the new thing for set 14 that brings out the new um, boss monster or deck variant of the Narukami clan. So if you have been keeping up to date with your Vanguard knowledge, then you should know what this is. In set 14, um, Narukami is getting a new break ride. Now... I'm going to first read that to you. That's going to be the first card I talk about. And it is called Eradicator Ignition Dragon. It kind of looks like a dragon carrying a chainsaw. It's kind of cool. And here is his break ride skill. When a Narukami rides this unit, you may counterblast one. And your opponent hit chooses two of his or her rear guards and retires them and then choose your vanguard and that unit receives plus 10,000 power and then his second ability is when this unit attacks if the number of rear guards you have is more than your opponents this unit gets plus 2,000 power so his main skill is his break right ability that we sh are focusing on here it's when he you break right on top of him you're going to counter blast one and you get to and your opponent is going to have to select two of their rear guards and retire them so it's with Vowing Sword, it can only be popped in the front, and there's no cost to it. With this, you have to pay a cost of one, and your opponent is going to be forced to retire two of their rear guards of their choosing. Now, the boss monster that for Eradicators that comes out in set 14 that makes this break ride playable, uh, not playable, that makes it good, is the new grade 3 for Eradicators known as Eradicator Tempest Bolt Dragon. Now... <clears throat> Here is Tempest Bolt's ability if you have not seen him on the show. You counterblast three cards with Eradicator in their name, so it's in a special three counterblast. Special counterblast three Eradicators, sorry guys, retire all of each fighter's rear guards. So it's pretty simple, guys. Counterblast three Eradicators, and all rear guards on both players' fields are, are retired. So it wipes both boards down to just the Vanguard. And then his second ability is during your turn, this unit receives plus 2,000 power for each fighter's rear o open rear guard circle. So the combo is, is if your opponent has five rear guards, you can potentially wipe their board. If you are playing a very low, modest board, you can minus yourself very little and then wipe your opponent clean. By, count, by break riding, Tempest Bull is going to receive plus 10,000 power, and then you're going to counter blast one, and your opponent is going to have to retire two of their rear guards. Then you're going to use Tempest Bolt's limit break to counter blast three, wipe the boards clean, and he's going to give it an additional 2,000 power for each open fighter opening. Jesus Christ, guys. Then he's going to gain an additional 2,000 for each open rear guard circle. So. Even if you just swinged with Tempest Bolt by itself after you did the Counter Blast, which you wouldn't do, he would receive an additional 20,000 power. Because 2,000 for each rear guard open circle, and there's 5 on each side, 2 times 10 is 20, so he would receive 20,000 extra power after already being boosted to 21. So he could swing for 41 without a boost, and both sides only have a Vanguard. But 9 times out of 10... After you wipe the board, you're going to call some units to your side of the board, fill up your field, and attack with Tempest Bolt, and he'll gain 10k just because your opponent's field will be completely wiped. <clears throat> so, this video is kind of short because there's really not much to talk about. Tempest Bolt's power to completely wipe the board gives your opponent a huge disadvantage because wiping one's board is extremely game-changing. That's why cards like, I say, Vowing Saber Reverse, um, Chaos Break Dragon, these cards are very deadly. Because when if you have five rear guards, you have to play another five cards from your hand just to get back to where you were, which is a heavy cost. It's not so much what it does to you at the time, it's what, do, it's what it does to you in the long run. Because if you have eight cards in your hand and your opponent wipes your board, you might be thinking, okay, I'm, I'm fine, I can replace all of them, I got cards in my hand where I can make some decent rows next turn and give my Vanguard a decent boost. But think about what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to draw into a ninth card. And your opponent 
is more than likely going to have a high number of cards in their hand. You're going to then have to play four to five cards from your hand just to have a good field, and then you're going to only twin drive, and you'll be up to like five cards, maybe a little more. I mean, these numbers are just for shits and giggles, but think about it, guys. If your opponent completely wipes your board, they're going to damage you. That's why Chaos Breaker is so freaking good, because not only am I going to retire, I'm going to draw one card for everything, and T Tempest Bolt, he's going to force you to play just more cards from your hand, which is pretty much the same as Chaos Breaker Dragon, except they're not drawing a card. But the kick is Tempest Bolt gains 2,000 power during your turn for each open rearguard circle on either side of the field. So... Cards that have the potential to wipe boards are amazing. And these are cards that you're going to have to watch out for and are going to take a very, very skilled strategy and player to get around. I'm not saying that if someone Tempest bolts you or Chaos breaks your whole field at the end of one of your turns, draws five cards, and then draws into a sixth after they start their turn, you're going to lose. But it takes... A lot of thought, guys. So these new cards that are coming out in set 13 and higher, even starting in set 12, as we see with Revengers that have a very good advantage over late game, as long as you have that Raging Form in your hand, or cards like Nebula that gives high power to all the attackers. These are things that you're going to have to watch out for. I'm going to start doing a couple of more videos to kind of help you a ways around this. But... These are things you need to start watching out for because Tempest Bolt, when he comes, it's going to be another version of Chaos Breaker, kind of, except it is the same thing by damaging you, by forcing you to have to play more cards from your hand, which is dangerous because the more you play from your hand, the less you have to guard with. And especially in late game, that right there can cause you the game, just simply getting board wiped. But guys, there are many ways you can play around this. You're just going to have to play smarter. It's coming set 12, the game is going to change completely. Um, we're now, we right now for break rides, we're just in the, we're in the shallow end of break rides right now, guys. Set 10 and 11, we have some very good break ride combos with Descendant and the End and Alfred. But starting with set 12, we're going to get into much more deeper and better break rides and much better skills that can be much more devastating so it's very important that you start paying attention a lot more during your games and thinking out each and every one of your moves so anyway guys thanks for watching comment subscribe thumbs up to the video thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already done that already um, in the comment section below feel free to share your thoughts on this tempest bolt ignition dragon combo um I can't wait to build this deck myself. It's going to be fun to play. Um, so anyway, guys, I'll see you later, and make sure to keep watching. See you later.